Find the slope of the line through the points negative 3, 5, and negative 1, 2. So you could use y2 minus y1 divided by x2 minus x1, or you could actually come over here off to the side if you wanted to, and you could plot these points on a coordinate grid and do rise over run to the right or fall over run to the right. Or we could use stat edit. Stat edit says that the x coordinates are the L1 and the y coordinates are L2. I've already cleared my list, so we're gonna go stat edit. Let's type in our L1, L2 coordinate first, negative three and five. Then we're gonna type in our second coordinate, negative one and two. If you wanted to, you could type in both the L1s first and then the L2s, it might be a little quicker. So now we're gonna actually, you have to tell the calculator to calculate something. So we're gonna go stat, scroll over to calc. We're talking about lines, right? The slope of a line. So we're gonna go down to number four because we're talking about lines. And we're gonna hit enter, scroll down to calculate, and hit enter. It's gonna give me two possible answers. So if I go back and I remember y equals mx plus b, the calculator doesn't use mx plus b, the calculator uses ax plus b. And it doesn't matter what variable you want to represent slope, you just need to know that the letter a is the slope and the letter b is the y-intercept. So in this problem here, if you look, negative 1.5, that is my slope, negative 1.5. The problem is, is that all of my answer choices are in fractions. So you could do negative 1.5, hit math, hit frac, hit enter, it'll convert it to a fraction, and you will see that our answer is A. Or you could work backwards. You could take each answer choice, do negative three divided by two, and it will give you a decimal of negative 1.5, so our answer is A. And so what negative three over two means, you go down three, and you run to the right two, and you go down three and the right two, down three and to the right two. So our answer is A. Which equation best describes the, the graph below? So we're gonna write y equals mx plus b. And I use two different colors, a one color for m and one color for b. So let's start with B. B is where it crosses the Y axis. So here's your Y axis right here. And it crosses the Y axis at this location. One, two, three, at positive four. So I know that letter B is positive four. Now to find the slope of this line, there are two ways to find the slope of this line. The first way would be to do rise over run. So what we'll do is we'll go from the red dot to the yellow dot. Well, it's a negative, it's a negative line, so you have to go down and to the right. So we're gonna go down, one, two, three. So I go down three, we'll write this guy right over here. So I go down three, and I run to the right once. Now there's another way to calculate slope. You may not see it, but there are actually coordinates on this line. These points, I can write these coordinates of these two points. So I pick two points that are on the graph. So this coordinate that we'll write in red right here is zero comma one, two, three, four. And then let's write one in yellow here. This one is over one and up one. If I have coordinates on a line, can't I use stat edit to find the slope? And that's what we're gonna do. So we're gonna type in our L values first. Zero from the red coordinate right here, and then one from the yellow coordinate. Now let's type in the corresponding Y values. So we're gonna type in the four, because it goes across from zero in the calculator here, and then one. And now let's go stat, calc, we're talking about a line. And look, if you do that, the calculator will automatically give you both parts that you need for the equation here. So if you extract two points from the line, it gives you the y-intercept of four, which we said that's what it was, and we confirmed, and a slope of negative three. So then you have to plug in your parts correctly. So our answer looks like it would be letter B. Question three. So let's get down to the question here. It says, what is the rate of change? The rate of change. They like to use that word rate of change. I 
that's just a fancy way of saying slow. Oh, slow. So y equals mx plus b. They're asking, what is the slope? So let's start with rise over run. I'm going to pick two points. I'll pick this point here, and then we'll pick this point here. Now, if you look on the y-axis, they are counting by 50s. 50, 100, 50, 200, 50, 300. On the x-axis, they're counting by 1, so you have to be careful. So let's do rise over run. Let's rise 50, 100. That's our top number. And we always ski or run to the right once in this particular problem. And you can confirm that. Watch. 50, 100, 1. 50, 100, 1. So I know my slope is 100. But what if you want to use the calculator? What if you're just, I don't, I can't really remember that. I don't know if it's positive or negative. Don't pick 50. If you pick 50 down here, letter B, you are picking the y-intercept. So 50 is the y-intercept. So watch what I'm going to do. I'm going to write the two coordinates here from the graph. So this first coordinate is over 0 and up 50. The second coordinate is over 1 and up 150. So let's go in, stat, I'm going to clear the lists here. So we're going to clear L1 and L2. So I have a fresh list and stat edit. Let's type in our L1s. We're going to start with the pink here. In fact, I'm just going to type these in as coordinates. 0, 50. So that way I don't get confused. And then the next one, 1 and then 150. And it doesn't matter if you started with the blue and went to the pink or you went from the pink and started to the blue. It doesn't matter. So now we're going to run stat, calc. We're talking about lines. And let's see what happens. It's asking, what is the slope? So if you look right here, it tells you that the slope is 100. Well, that's what we calculated. And it'll also tell you that, hey, it starts at 50, like we said here. So our answer is A, 100. And our last problem, you have a table with some points. What is the rate of change? Oh, fancy rate of change. It's asking, what is the slope? OK, we have a table of points. So we're going to go stat. If you want to clear your list, you could. But I'm just going to type over. So I'm going to type all my L1s in first. And then I'll come over here and type in the L2s. You just need to make sure that the numbers are across from each other when you do this here. So negative 2. Zero, three, and seven. So let's type in our corresponding y values. 12, three, negative 10.5, and negative 28.5. So we have them typed in. We go stat, calc. We're still talking about slope of a line. So we're going to look for the letter A when it calculates, and it's going to give me a decimal. It's telling me that the slope is negative 4.5. So I write it down first, negative 4.5. We're going to math frac enter. And that is the same as saying negative 9 over 2. Now you could, if you wanted to, if you forgot about math frac enter, you could take each answer choice. So I could start here with letter A and go 2 divided by 9. Is 2 divided by 9 the same as negative 4.5? No. Then you go down to letter B. Is negative 9 divided by 2 the same as negative 4.5? Yes. And our answer is B.